Shout out to all the VIP members watching this full interview on day one. If you're not a VIP and you waited a full year to watch, <laughs> hit the join button right next to the subscribe button and become a member for just $2.99 a month. And if you haven't subscribed, you already know what to do. Enjoy the interview. <laughs> Talk about um. I know you had a you kind you know free guitar. Yeah, of course. That's that's my block. Yeah. Oh. One three four and God bless. Yes, yes. So like when Freaky Time Lost Boys came out. Yeah. Me fifty. You know a lot of other niggas was selling drugs while the Lost Boys. Like I used to be around Freaky Time. I used to, I could tell you plenty of Freaky Time stories. What was like one thing that stands out <clears> to you? Like one story that stands out to you? I, uh, um. Positive. I mean, um, what you're Freaky Ty, they used to, his brother, shout out to his brother, Jay Ball, rest in peace to Freaky Ty, and um, they yeah. used to come out, I think it was the purple tape, I think the tape was purple, Yes, I think and they so, used yeah. to come out with the big radio, and Freaky Ty used to play his shit all the time, you know what I'm saying, and the block used to be crazy, 100 niggas outside, but Lost Boys was wild niggas, they used to drink Devil Spring, niggas, <laughs> some wild niggas, one memory, I remember yeah. when they, matter of fact, one memory, I remember they fought Mob Deep, oh wow, I stayed on the block. They fought Mob Deep. My man Sunshine came back. He had um blood on his belt. Them niggas fought Mob Deep. Lost Boys versus Mob Deep. That's crazy. And I, I remember I was on the block when they came back. You know, niggas was riled up and shit. But yeah, they used to be on the block. You know, that was one of my motivations too. You know, seeing yeah. them blow. Yeah. But to see how far G Unit went is just an amazing thing. But Ty, like, rest in peace, bro. Yeah. A lot of people don't know, like, he died, like, right around the way. Because that's one thing, too. It's like, when you make it, do you yeah. stay? Or do you get out? I'm out of there. And you, yeah, you winning. Out of there. I ain't. Yeah. It ain't I don't and care. It's not. It's not like I'm giving out. back. But yeah. most rappers get killed in their hood. Yeah. I'm so good. it's like when you stay out the way, it might and not be not everybody that hate, but it might be one that one person that hate. Yeah. That was like Freaky Ty, he died right around the way, like right uh, by you know right by off the van wheel. Oh, he I, died in ODB arms. Wow. A lot of people don't know that story, but it's like. I'm from that hood. Like you, you was there. I know his whole family. Okay. No, I wasn't there, okay. but you know I was still in the hood at that point. Like I heard about it. You know, I know his pops, champ. I know his, his one of his brothers got killed. Ig, like I know Ramik. I know his whole family. Yeah, Tito. I know J Ball. I know wow. his whole family. Like I was around them niggas every day, but I was selling drugs. Yeah, what did that? You know what, do? what did that do to the area when that situation? Nah, happened? Freaky Tower so. situation was fucked up. That was the first thing that I seen of like of somebody that's famous that died in the hood. Yeah. So I, in my mind, early I'm like, damn, you can't. You make some paper. Gotta go. You can't be in the hood. And Freaky yeah. Tower used to take niggas, take them to Jamaica Avenue, bomb sneakers, do shit for the community. He was a nigga that led the hood. Yeah. But once you make it. You gotta get out. Niggas wanna kill you. Yeah, nah. I, that's why. That's why I said what I said. I'm out of there. Man. I always say is well, if Nipsey store was on Rodeo, would that would that happen? Would a nigga been able to hit him right there? I don't know. Look, I want to say no. That's the piece of nip. Look, look, look. I want to say no, but then when I see FBG Duck situation, I'm like, damn. They but, pulled but, up. But you look on that Chicago is like that's the first time yeah. that ever happened. I she, yeah, bro. I've been in Chicago. You got the war zone. You got the nice area. Yeah, yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. We in the Waldorf Astoria when we out there. Ain't nothing. So that's, look how big of a case that is because it happened there. Yeah. Now, I agree with you. I think. Just like if you, yeah. let, let, let's keep it real. Geographically, if you shoot a nigga in Tilden, right? Yeah. But if you shoot a nigga by Central Park. Yeah. It might, it's a little bit more it's, common it's, in Tilden than it is in Central Park. It's going to be you. a big difference on the sentencing. Yeah, without a doubt. They're going to make a point on it. Yeah, it's going to uh, be a big difference in, on, on the sentencing. You yeah. know what I mean? It's going to be a big difference.